see that it looks like Derek Carr's purposefully trying not to throw the ball to Devontae Adams. It feels point. that way. Wow. Okay, look at this. This is a deep hook by Devontae Adams. And what you get is cover two up top. Now, everything is off this de hook defender. If he goes with the wheel route, throw to Devontae. Mm. He went with the real route. Devontae's wide open. <coughs> That's exactly where the ball should go. Not only it's Devontae Adams, but he doesn't throw it to him. All right, maybe right. it's only one clip. Down at the bottom, I have a curl flat. Number one defense that this place stinks against is cover two. Cover That's two. why you have somebody that yeah, sits over the top of the ball. This is cover two at the bottom of the screen. That play at the bottom is dead. Devontae is not only the guy you want to throw to, but that's the person because of what the defense is that you should throw the ball to. Now down in the red zone, Devontae's going to run a quick fade versus inside leverage two man. Cut the split because I got space on purpose. The safety really doesn't matter. He wins off the line of scrimmage. I watched Aaron Rodgers throw that ball to Devontae a thousand <laughs> yes, times yes. against San Francisco last year. But he's not even looking over there on third and eight down in the red zone. Yeah. He cut the split for a reason. That's only three clips because it's television. There's like six of them right. where the defense tells you because of what the, the, the scheme is on not offense. Not the guy, the defense. Let's pretend they're X's and O's. They yep. don't have any reputation or name. The ball should go there because the defense, that's the worst play I can have given what my scheme is right. defensively. Right. The ball should go there. And it's Devontae Adams, and he's not even looking. ESPN's Dan Orlovsky, who works as an NFL analyst, broke down Derek Carr and he said that there's at least six clips in which Derek Carr missed Devontae Adams and of course he bucked down three. Uh, you guys saw the three right now where Derek Carr missed Devontae Adams. He didn't give Devontae Adams the opportunity. And is anyone actually surprised? Let's just be honest. Fire Josh McDaniels was trending after the Raiders lost to the Titans. But when I watched the tape, it was so clear to me that Derek Carr was 100% the issue and it almost seems like I don't want to continue to say this over and over again because people just don't believe it right there are people out there that think Derek Carr is like a top seven quarterback and he's this perfect guy he's not doing anything wrong he's making every read his receivers are running routes or his defense isn't doing a good job right people want to put the blame where the blame doesn't go let's just be honest the blame goes to Derek Carr. He is missing guys. And if it's not he's missing his reads, he's overthrowing guys. He's underthrowing guys. Literally, the two-point conversion, Derek Carr underthrew a pass to Darren Waller. And yes, the read was correct, but the ball placement was terrible and the linebacker tipped the pass. Keelan Cole on the first drive had a touchdown. And Derek Carr severely underthrew it. We can go back over the past two weeks against the Cardinals. All one time, it's an overthrow to Darren Waller running wide open could have been a touchdown on another play it's Darren Waller he's throwing it behind him and Derwin James is able to break the pass up Dan Orlovsky who works for ESPN broke the tape down and it's not surprising to me that Derek Carr is struggling right now but for some people they're not going to see it some people are going to say Derek Carr didn't do anything wrong and it's just crazy to me because I don't want to continue down this path where we're killing our quarterback because let's be honest Derek Carr is our quarterback right now, right? Nothing's going to change, but we could expect better out of Carr, and that's what I want to do right now. Derek Carr, you need to play better because what you're doing right now is not working, and we're not able to get wins because of your play. You missing guys on third and eight, seeing Devontae Adams wide open. Instead, you throw it, and it's an incomplete pass, and we settle for a field goal. On other plays, guys are running open. You missed him. Uh, you're, re you're reading instead of a cover two and taking the shot where it should go with guys wide open. You're throwing it somewhere else. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, man. Uh, what do you guys think about that ESPN clip by Dan Orlovsky? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.